Hello friends, welcome to BlockBytes. Mass adoption is the biggest challenge to the crypto ecosystem. Every advancement made in this space inexplicably ties into improving user adoption. Be it account abstraction, new layer ones promising better speed, or modularity with the help of rollups. Unfortunately, all of this has yet to bring in users. On top, the hawkishness of central banks and governments worldwide is slowing adoption even further. Crypto project WorldCoin promises to bring a different way to address this challenge. Let's find out how. WorldCoin is a global cryptocurrency project that aims to give every human on earth a cryptocurrency. Built on Ethereum, the main idea behind the project is to enable the first billion users into the crypto universe. By uniquely identifying them, and then gifting WorldCoin tokens in return. The idea is the brainchild of Sam Altman, co-founder of OpenAI. According to him, Web3 and cryptocurrencies make it possible to distribute ownership and control of networks to their users, rather than a single entity. We all know that the world is dominated by a few tech companies. These companies control our data, and the infrastructure that holds and uses this data. Crypto and blockchain technology puts us, the users, squarely back, back in control, thanks to the decentralized nature of these networks and the unique incentive mechanisms via tokens. He adds, if a cryptocurrency were adopted at scale, it would vastly increase access to the internet economy and make applications possible that are now unimaginable. Sam clearly feels that for all the good crypto can bring, its adoption could be faster, and this needs to change. WorldCoin intends to create a better mechanism for onboarding users in the crypto ecosystem. But the project has been polarizing, with several voices coming against it mainly because of how onboarding is done. Let's look into this in the next section. Onboarding users into crypto is mainly done via centralized exchanges like Coinbase and Binance. Although these exchanges are suitable for adoption, they are not recommended as users do not own the assets they purchase on these exchanges. The market crash of 2022 where millions of people lose their assets to these companies is a grim reminder of this fact. Conversely, self-custodial wallets are cumbersome and not easy to use for the masses, severely restricting user onboarding. WorldCoin has created a self-custodial wallet app that is unlike most of the commonly used wallets. It is based on account abstraction, making it very simple to operate. If you want to learn about account abstraction, I have linked the video I did on the subject in the description. But this is not unique. There are several wallets based on account abstraction which people can use. What is different with WorldCoin is that it uses free tokens as an incentive to onboard people onto the wallet app. To make this happen, however, WorldCoin has to first overcome a fundamental challenge, ensuring that people can show that they are humans and not bots and have yet to claim their free share of WorldCoin. To address this problem, WorldCoin created the Orb. Orb is an imaging device that records an image of a person's eyes and turns it into a short numeric code called hash allowing WorldCoin to determine whether the individual has already signed up. The scan is then verified against a government-issued ID to confirm their identity. This, the, this, pro, this process is called proof of personhood. Users who have gone through this process get a unique identification called World ID. Every individual with a World ID Will receive world co tokens worth you 15 us dollars they will get an additional five us dollars worth in tokens for using their wallet app 
These tokens were set to launch in the first half of this year, but will probably happen later. Since the goal to onboard the next billion users need a worldwide audience, WorldCoin has selected 25 operators who run these orbs in several countries across four continents. Anyone can sign up to be an operator by filling an online form. The operator will be responsible for building their operations from the ground up, from running their marketing campaigns to collaborating with local partners. Over one and a half million people across these four continents have already signed up. By now, you must be in two minds. I know I was when I started reading about the project. WorldCoin seems like an interesting idea. But how can a project built on blockchain that represent decentralization and trustlessness require your biometric details? Are we not trusting the project with our identity? And is this not a breach of privacy? First and foremost, when it comes to mass adoption, I feel the idea of decentralization and trustlessness dilute. The end user cares more about easy access to Facebook or Google and not worries about the centralization of identity data because they trust nothing wrong will happen to their data. Since this is expecting too much, countries also have privacy laws to protect their citizens. Truth be said, trustlessness is like free speech. It cannot be absolute. Even in crypto, you trust smart contracts to do what they do, you trust validators, and you trust the machines that power the network. Yes, safeguards are put in place, but nothing is absolute. Regarding privacy, there is a legitimate concern about sharing biometric information with a private company. WorldCoin has addressed these concerns. It says they will never sell any biometric or personal data, and they ensure that people control their data. The project goes on to make several other claims. Like the images collected are deleted, only the hash of the image is stored, and no other personal information is required by them. The project clarifies that the sole purpose behind collecting their data, which includes the iris scan and a three-dimensional mapping of the body, face, and eyes, is to ascertain an individual uniqueness and not identity. This means that once generated, this hash has no other uses. But these are claims and it is up to you as an individual to decide whether you believe these claims. The other concern is the exclusion of United States from the trial happening worldwide. In response to a Bloomberg report where the United States of America was mentioned along with other countries where field trials are going, WorldCoin responded and by saying the field trials are not going on in the United States, raising doubts that this has been done keeping in mind the tough stance on privacy in the country. WorldCoin has been able to start its trial in these countries so far. Although when searching for active operators on the World app, only some of these countries were listed. A security concern was also highlighted by NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. In a tweet, he said, removing the scans does not remove the implications of storing the hash. Since the hash is the proof of personhood or for an individual, it could be misused. Apart from privacy, there, are, there, is, the, there is also the matter of local laws and regulations regarding such a service. There is a lot of hue and cry about cryptocurrencies by governments worldwide, adding another crypto project that claims to provide an alternative source of income using biometric data does not help with the existing perception of the space. Although WorldCoin might seem like a simple philanthropic project to help people else everywhere, its reach is yet to be discovered. Besides onboarding users en masse into crypto, a worldwide identity-based project like WorldCoin can have several other use cases. Imagine a universal basic income mechanism 
where users automatically get money into their accounts or a system that will become vital in identifying humans from AI. Now you can take this either way. Will Worldcoin itself become a monopoly one day or would it stay true to its vision? OpenAI was started as a non-profit organization with no financial gains to be made, only to be recently bought by Microsoft. Several prominent investors have put their money in this project and it is obvious that they expect a big payday at the end. There is no doubt Worldcoin is a unique project, built on Ethereum using zero knowledge proofs and soon moving to optimism for scalability. It has all the technical ingredients we love about this space. But questions around privacy, data storage, and its potential to become a monopoly do raise doubts in our minds. And so this is what I have decided. I care too much about privacy more than the average person. I do not give my phone number, ID, or email address unless absolutely needed. And I will stick to that mantra for now, unless I change my mind in the future. As for the WorldCoin tokens, once they are released, they should be available on exchanges, and I might buy some to get exposure to the project. This is not financial advice, and I am not recommending the token. I suggest people read about the project and then go through some blogs posted on WorldCoin's website, which I will link in the description. I hope you like this video. Do like and share, and I will see you next time with another fresh bite. Bye-bye.